Violence is a big part of the Mexican drug trade. All too often, its impact can be felt here in Houston, hundreds of miles away from the border. Violent turf battles between the cartels are being waged on our streets. Some say what's happening is a threat to national security. Eyewitness News reporter Andy Sirota continues our Blood on the Border series. While the streets of our city are a long way from the bloodshed and violence associated with the drug cartels along the U.S.-Mexico border, Houston has become home to some of these ultra-dangerous, highly sophisticated criminal gangs. They are a major supplier of drugs that go through Houston. The Drug Enforcement Administration estimates that 92 percent of the illegal drugs that come into the U.S. cross the southwestern border. Almost everything from Mexico comes through Houston, in part because of our geography. We have the dubious distinction of being one of the major drug distribution points for the Gulf Cartel, and it's become a multi-billion dollar a year business. We see you know, you know, marijuana coming into Houston, cocaine, heroin, and, and methamphetamine. The majority of which is then sold and dispersed to dealers in other parts of the country. Who's selling the drugs? Try hundreds, if not thousands, of local cartel operatives, greedy and hungry for money. Once you enter that underworld, then you see everybody that's doing it. You'd be surprised. Jose used to import and sell marijuana and cocaine for the Gulf Cartel until he was arrested some years ago in a sting operation. He asked us to keep his identity a secret. He says doing the cartel's dirty work is a cutthroat business. You know, you always know that at some point either you're going to be arrested or you, or you may wind up dead. As an elite member of the cartel, Jose says his greatest fear wasn't the authorities, but the threat of violence from his rivals, many of whom were dealers working for the same cartel. He says in a business based on gluttony and power, there's no such thing as loyalty. It could be anybody, another cartel, it could be your best friend, or somebody finds out that you have a large quantity you can, and that, that, that's accessible to you, then they'll try to kidnap you or kill you or maybe even kidnap one of your family members. While there's no hard statistics to back those claims, law enforcement, whether it's local, state or federal, is able to make that connection between the violence on our streets and the cartels as they dig deeper in a criminal investigation. As a whole, I mean, we're doing a good job in identifying the cells in this region and, and attacking them from within and, and taking them out. In the last 13 months, federal, state, and local authorities have seized more than 14,000 pounds of illegal drugs in the Houston area. That's nearly 1,000 pounds a month, with a street value of nearly $22 million. The bus lines that bring people in from Mexico to Houston are being used by these criminal gangs to smuggle drugs into the country. The DEA seized hundreds of kilos of cocaine during this bust three years ago. All but one of the people involved in the operation has been convicted. It's a war being fought on both sides of the border that's far from being won. There's such a market for it, you can't stop it from coming in because there's so much money involved at the same time. Andy Sirota, 13 